subject, man. The Michael Jackson documentary. Um, what you? What are your thoughts on that? This thing is being dug up ten years after Michael Jackson passed, and that this dude and came cool. out. Huh? Which one are you talking about? What dude? I'm talking about both of the asses. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say that too. But it comes out four years after he died, but and saying that Michael raped him, but during the trial and everything, he said he didn't. Mm. But it that was I was both for because it, it kind of go together with the R. Kelly. I've been seeing something. Oh, so many people who talking about their documentary now and then the documentary with R. Kelly. And that's why I said I want to see, like, yo, they're going to do a Les Moonbev or Harvey Weinstein. Because, no. because it's like, yo, y'all I mean, I, I, I leave for that Michael Jackson. I think I was, I was around. Yeah, I was around. And I think I maybe I paid attention to it a little bit when it was going on. They, like, I watched it and Michael didn't do himself no favor coming to court in the goddamn pajamas. <laughs> And the, and the motherfucker was in his pajamas, man. See, I don't remember that. But my thing is, like, yo. That one they would call that nigga Wacko Jacko. Uh, I, I think uh, Nancy Grace came up with that shit. Of course. Goddamn Wacko Jacko. But it was like, yo, y'all mean tell me y'all needed a documentary to. Because that's what I'm getting for a lot of people. Like, yo, though, I'm pretty sure the old people watch that court thing with R. Kelly and with Michael Jackson. Like, if you didn't come away from that thing with all the evidence and all the things that, come, that went through to say whether you thought they were guilty, it took for a damn documentary to change your mind. Yeah. But it, my thing was, is when I think about, like, with him, right, I think when people, when people actually know about Michael Jackson's house and the layout of his house, and what was really going on pertaining to his house, mm-hmm. I think people will have a different perspective on it. One of the things that people don't know is that it was like 25 people who worked at, or worked at his house because it was yeah. an amusement park, basically. I think I heard something. That and part. that dude's bedroom, his bedroom was humongous. It was damn near the size of people's apartment. So when Michael was there, he wasn't the only one sleeping in the room with those children. It were other adults in there. This is what Corey Feldman, like Corey Feldman came out immediately after that documentary and started mm-hmm. saying, like, yo, that, that, that stuff is bullshit that they say. And, and I was finna get into that. that Cause Corey Feldman and McCullough Cogan, two dudes who were child stars, who were best friends with Michael Jackson. I said, they kind of took McCullough Cogan what he said and like, hey, maybe we should listen. But with uh, Corey Feldman, they wanted to the miss Hit what he said because he supposed to be on draw, and they were like, "I remember the time when he was on the view, and he was like, yo yeah, when he was trying to tell, yes, yeah, and Barbara Walters, well, you trying to do a whole industry, but no, she was mad because he was talking about white people, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I was telling on say, because folks. right now, if you look at R. Kelly. Boiler, you like uh Bill Cosby or not? I don't. I don't. And, and Michael Jackson, and because we they they did go after um Russell Simmons, it died down. They were trying to take down my industry of black people. Yeah, but when it was white people, they're like, no, nah, you gotta hush up, you can't do that. And 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 I I had to bring up something, and one of our subscribers. Mr. Dweedy, if you out there, I would like for you to comment on this. Oh, he probably will. Comment on this because I'm about to talk about Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. Now, Mr. Dweedy, he was someone who put us on to John of God. And how Oprah Winfrey promoted this dude, had him on her show, had people to go out to his church, and he raped over 700 women. But I got new information on Oprah Winfrey. Some of y'all may know this or may not know this. That while Oprah Winfrey is doing the thing with, the thing with Michael, Jackson. Michael Jackson, she was friends with Harvey Weinstein over 30 years. Over 30 years. She mm-hmm. haven't done any interviews with 
any, any of the victims of Harvey Weinstein. And now it's this British UK actress who's suing Harvey Weinstein, I think for like $5 million or something like that. And she says that Oprah Winfrey served her up to Harvey Weinstein like a whore. Now, also, Oprah Winfrey got a lot of friends who are supposed maybe had a rapist. Yeah, had a school in Africa where the little children over there were being raped. Nope, I got more. In 1997, Oprah Winfrey daddy was accused of rape. Oprah Winfrey paid off this woman like $57,000 for her to go away. How the fuck is Oprah Winfrey out here being the moral compass of women? Because she got money? No, no, she's a hustler. <laughs> yeah. like, 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 she's a hustler, bro. Oprah Winfrey is a hustler. And I'm trying to tell you, she's a part of this game. This misandry game. She's a part of it, bro. Because I said, man, somehow, some way, rape seemed to follow this woman. Like a bad stench. Like ugliness follow her. Ugly uh, motherfucker. But. So, so wrong. But I guess. It's true. You know damn well you wouldn't fuck Oprah. Open- well, nah, I'm lying. I'll fuck Oprah. Open- Oprah open- B now. I'll get that ass. Yeah. No, no, like I would. Of, like a lot of other niggas would. I would. Even though I don't like that motherfucker. It's something shady about Oprah. Did you mm. know that when... Uh, let me tell you a story about Oprah Winfrey real quick. I don't know if I want to hear it. You, you want to hear because you're going to be amazed by this shit. I doubt it, but go ahead. Did you know? No. Like, back in the day, Oprah Winfrey used to have Maya Angelou on her show a lot. And... The writer? Yeah, the poet. Mm. And they did a ancestry test on Oprah. And it came back that Oprah Winfrey ancestors were enslaved by Elvin Presley family. You know Oprah Winfrey was excited about that? She would. She was excited about that. And Maya, Maya Angelou was like, what? Like, I like, like, you were excited about that? Mm. And after that, my Angelou never went back on her show again. Yeah, because she just found out that uh, Oprah was a coon. Damn it, I, ain't, I said I wasn't going to ever say that damn word, but I did. Oh, she did uh, Why? Yeah. Why? Let me know. I want to understand what do you have against the word coon? Because it's one of my favorites. I don't have anything that's anything against it. I said it a lot. I just said I wasn't gonna sit on the show. Why I said, not? Matter of fact, I actually said that you were gonna be the first person to sit on the show, and you then, knew I was gonna be the first one. To yeah. Sit. Actually, I don't know why I haven't said. I guess it was just the first time. No, I don't have anything. Like, look here, I'm gonna describe the truth. If you're a coon, you're a coon. Like if you're, you're a spade, you're a spade. No, fuck that. We ain't talking about that. I'm talking about Negro terms. If you're a coon, you're a coon. If you're Uncle Tom, you're Uncle Tom. If you're a house nigga, you're a house nigga. If you're a mammy, you're a mammy. If you're a bet buck, you're a bet buck. And if you're a goddamn uh, bet wrench, you're a bet wrench. That's what you are. Accept what you are. But don't get mad at me for telling you don't be like racist white people. Racist white people have a problem with you calling them racist, but they don't have a problem with being a racist. Yeah. And I'm going to call you what you are. Like the great prophet said, Stephen A. Smith, if it walked like a duck and quacked like a duck, it ain't a goddamn mongoose bank. He, he have hit cool moments as well. Yeah, he cool too. But there's the stuff with Michael Jackson, man. I can't believe that it after ten years he's been dead and here we go again. Mm-hmm. And that was and it's funny because like we had the thing of, now I don't do that, but you had a thing of uh believe all women. I I, I don't I believe that I listen dumb as hell, and I, that's what I'm telling you about feminist women. I listen and I wait for evidence. And with that dude, I think his name is Wade Robinson, 
because they wanted to do they were like yo who keep turning up his story and then like uh and I, I think also a thing of believe all victims yeah I heard I think it was Charlamagne who said it believe all victims but he said believe all victims and then believe all evidence so that's can't. stupid as hell yeah like you can't believe all victims and then believe all evidence as well no you, you never believe any victim any person who tells you that they're a victim what you do is Every victim deserved to be listened to and heard. Yeah. Not to be believed. And, no. and all of y'all folks out here who believe everything that you see and hear, especially y'all dumbass black folk, I want you to ask yourself where were you been when that white woman said that Emmett Till touched her? What would you have believed? Because mm-hmm. by now, y'all would have been on that white woman's side who said yeah, Emmett Till tossed And y'all would have been out here trying to justify what them dudes did in killing him. Just well, like he did touch her, though. He mm-hmm. tossed her. Nah, man. Every person deserve to be heard and deserve to be listened to. Don't nobody Deserve to be believed Cause men lie Women lie It was a song Like that not too long ago Yeah I think it was made By the Terrible yeah. rapper Lil Wayne Was it It wasn't Lil Wayne Was it I think I, think I he thought was it was All big mega head air, uh, Got it I think he was on the song It might have been uh, Got it But it was too lame man. Was Lame rappers to me Lil Wayne fell out Since like He got but <laughs> they that's my problem I have with it, man. Like, yo, they in indu- to to put black men in the limelight, they in dug up R. Kelly and Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. And that I, I get that my thing, one of my things like I don't like I say, yo, R I I do believe R. Kelly did some of the shit that he has done. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I'm 100% telling you that nigga deserved to go to jail. Yeah, I know, but my thing, and with Michael Jackson and Bill Cobb, like, yo, those that guy did that, bang, get him, you got him. But I'm going to need some consistency with the white dudes who do the same thing. Yeah, man, and see, this is the thing about it. When people try to say, yo, man, y'all trying to protect him. No, man, we be cons- we being consistent. This is what we were saying in the 1980s when they was giving – Black men 15, 20 years for crack cocaine while letting white guys go home for cocaine. Mm-hmm. That up. destroyed. That destroyed a generation of black men that left our sisters at home with children trying to care for them by themselves. That's why I care about this type of stuff. When you start letting this stuff type of thing go on, black men get locked up and been sitting away for 20 years while the cho- the mothers of the children that sit home and the women, our ladies out there, our sisters be catching the brunt of this. Now, and now all of these dudes like R. Kelly, all these niggas deserve to go to jail. But the white ones do too. Mm-hmm. They deserve to go to jail too. And that's my thing. Like, yo, with that, like the whole thing, like, like what we talked about, like, yo, the women who were raped by Harvey Weinstein, they came out and they did their thing. Now they ain't went away. In a way, no, all of them went away. Most of them, I don't hear nobody talking about the motherfucker. But for the black women, it like, yo, you can talk about because it wasn't just Harvard Weinstein just raping white women. He raped black women, black women, Latino women, and they all came out and they all talked about it. But then with these dude with R. Kelly, other people, it like, no, those we only gonna talk about those dudes. Yeah, but see, the reason why that is is because I, what I always told you about my sister. Where they're conceited. That black women are conceited. Black women are arrogant. And black women think everything is about them. So black women don't talk about these black dudes because black women don't only, she they only date black dudes. So they don't give a fuck about what white dudes are doing to white women or Latino men are doing to Latino mm-hmm. women. What they care about is only them. But they don't understand that they are 
making black men the face of the Me Too movement. They don't understand that that's what they're doing. And, and you know why? What I just told you earlier. They're moving off of their intentions. Because their intentions are good, but their execution is bad. And, and come on. I get my reason for that, though. It, it's still, because it's like, yo, when we see this thing with R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, whatever, you get dudes. Like, that my, uh, that what I'm, yeah. Because I see some women who act like, yo, black dude, when this stuff happens, black dudes go silent. They're not out here protecting them. No. It black dudes out here who like, yo, that dude, R. Kelly, is trash. Who, like, when Fab yeah. Ha- hmm? yeah, go ahead. And when when all this stuff happened, like yo, even when it's a white dude, we come out and say, yo, these dudes are trash. These dudes need to go to jail. But y'all are acting like, no, nah, we just sitting over here, like, yeah, you know, uh, we still. But you, you you know what? One of the problems with black women who say black men don't protect us. Part of being protected is listening. And also, I want because I, the thing is, black men are always trying to tell. Black women About guys We've been trying to tell black women About guys ever since we was in high school Don't date this guy Don't date that guy They don't listen They don't listen Mm -hmm. So Part of being protected Is listening uh, It ain't always When you in a situation where someone Is trying to fight you And a dude step in and break it up Protection is also when someone is trying to talk to you about a situation you telling them about and you listen to them about it and take in what they say. And that's not what black women do. See, the thing is, we ain't gotten to this situation now where this strong black woman thing, it then became a cancer. Everything flips it eventually. Now it's about, I don't have to listen to you about nothing. I can make out do what I want to, and then when they get themselves in bad situation, they want to go around and whine and complain. That's and complain about shit. That's what's going on now. But it's a part about you know listening to someone when they trying to tell you something for your own good. And that ain't just with black women; with all women. Mm-hmm. 